State Auditor, Trump misinformed about Alabama U.S. Senate race. The Alabama State Auditor says that President Donald Trump's decision to endorse Senator Luther Strange in the U.S. Senate special election was ill-formed and described Strange's appointment by former Governor Robert Bentley as based in corruption. I don't think President Trump knows the facts about Luther Strange and the corrupt way he got the appointment from disgraced Governor Bentley, Jim Zakeler, the state auditor for Alabama, told Western Journalism. In a move that baffled many conservatives, including Strange's opponents, Judge Roy Moore and Congressman Mel Brooks, Trump announced via Twitter last week his endorsement of Strange in the hotly contested Republican primary. President Trump followed that up with another tweet on Monday and robocall for Strange going out to Alabama voters on the eve of Tuesday's primary election. Strange is helping me in the Senate and is going to get the tax cuts for us, Trump says in the call. He's doing a lot of things for the people of Alabama and for the people of the United States. Zegler, who has not endorsed any candidate in the race but describes himself as ABL, anybody but Luther, thinks Trump's call is going to have little impact on Alabama voters. By this point the voters know about Luther Strange, the Bentley appointment and Strange's millions from Washington insiders, Zegler said. That voter knowledge will minimize the impact the Trump endorsement. Bentley appointed Strange, who was the state's attorney general at the time, to fill Sessions' U.S. Senate seat in February, just two months before Bentley was forced to resign from office in disgrace due to misuse of government property in an attempt to cover up an extramarital affair. Zegler filed the original ethics complaint against Bentley, which he told Western journalism ultimately resulted in the governor's resignation. Strange recommended the state Senate stop its investigation into Bentley's conduct as to not interfere with the state attorney general's office's criminal investigation. Weeks thereafter he informed Bentley that he wanted to be considered to fill Sessions' seat. A prosecutor should never go interview for a job with person who is the subject of the investigation by his agency, Zakeler said. Longtime political observers Quinn Hillier and Steve Flowers believe Trump's endorsement has increased the likelihood that Strange will face off against Moore in a runoff to decide the who gets the Republican nomination. I think it is likely to be the incumbent Luther Strange, because I think Trump's endorsement helped Strange solidify his spot, but I don't think it's a done deal," Hillier told Western Journalism. I think Brooks still has a chance to make the runoff. It is clear already that, if Strange gets in the runoff, he and his allies will run a harshly negative and deceitful campaign," he added. Hillier singled out the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's PAC, which is backing Strange as the worst offender. The attacks from the Senate Leadership Fund against Roy Moore are so out of context as to amount to a vile and vicious smear, the commentator said. The most recent polling has Moore pulling further away from the field at 35 percent support, with Strange at 23 percent and Brooks at 20 percent. If no candidate garners over 50 percent of the vote, there will be a runoff between the top two candidates on September 26. Moore's campaign manager, Rich Hobson, told Western Journalism he is hopeful Tuesday's primary election night will be a repeat of 2012's, when the judge surprised the pollsters by taking over 50 percent of the vote, negating the need for a runoff. Hobson, who managed Moore's victorious campaign in that race, described his feeling at the time as prayerfully optimistic, and he senses the same buzz in the air for Moore now. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my STC News channel. Goodbye and see you again.